Harry Potter Quidditch Champions is finally here and it's free for PlayStation users at the minute. So I went ahead, grabbed my free copy and downloaded it. Have to say, I had a lot of fun playing this game, so I hope you enjoy the video. As young witches and wizards, we all dream about soaring through the sky like our favourite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? I don't know, do you? I hope I do. To beat my toughest opponents? Slytherin? To keep my composure when it matters most? Woohoo! To chase my dreams at any price? I'll do my best. To seek glory for my team? Because someday, that dream could become a reality. Ooh. And the road won't always be easy. But if you just keep getting back on your broom... ...and trust in your teammates... ...Quidditch is magic. yourself again do you have what it takes yes i do do you have the heart of a quidditch champion yes i do i absolutely do oh character creation let's go let's go and uh, we'll start with you i guess so, oh no okay cool Colour, uh, colour, like that. Awesome. How do I change my hair? Awesome. What do we want? Um, not too massively similar. Go for that. That was fun. Oh, that you know what? That's probably closest. I could wear my hair like that if I wanted to. Awesome. And do we want some glasses? Oh, let's wait until we unlock goggles. We'll leave the glasses for now. Starting gear. Hogwarts. Alright. Okay, so you're going to unlock them later on, so we'll leave that one for now. So these are just character presets, okay, cool. Awesome, we're ready to go. You, you can customize your characters later on in the My Team menu. Sweet, so can continue. You go. Cool. Everyone shut up. Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. Yes, it does. And for many, that's in our own backyard. Yeah, of course it is. Oh my in god. Our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch, and wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes? Are we playing with the Weasleys? Oh my god, we are! Start the Quidditch career by mastering the Broomstick Basics, okay? Welcome to our backyard Ooh. Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's make sure you're comfortable on your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle. And double check your grip position. Okay, cool. It's reversing. When you think up, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, try some adjustments. 
Oh yeah, this is fun. Okay. You can always invert, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not an inverted flyer, but some people prefer. There are a lot of threats on the Quidditch field. Mastering your evasive flying will keep you out of harm's way. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. Okay, that's how boosting works. I think works. you're ready for something a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while looking in another. I'm not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. So drifting is more fun. Quick turn than anything else, it seems. Which is valid, I guess. Did I get them all? Nice. There's no okay. rush to move on until you're comfortable. No, I'm ready. Brilliant. Then let's brush up on Quidditch, shall we? Yeah. Each team has three chasers. They're the yep. heart of the Quidditch team, yep. if I do say so myself. The midfield. That ball is called Quaffle, and a chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. Okay. And working as one, throwing the Quaffle through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Yep, no, that makes sense. I am familiar with the rules. Quidditch is fast-paced, and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a... Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. The truly great chasers know they need to pass to their teammates. As a chaser, your main focus hey, is to score cool. points for your team. Always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Impressive work so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal. They won't always be undefended. Let's see if you can slip one past them. What the that? Nice. Yes, that is exactly why I was so hard for this change. That about does it for the chasers. Yeah, let's, let's hoping... play a fucking match. Come on, Ginny, stop babying me. Get me in. Recruit your next chaser. What do you mean? I have to sign all of these dons? Okay. That sounds fun then. Nothing says magic like green eyes. Right. Redhead? Blonde. What are you thinking? Why would I choose a preset when I can run more character strength? Go on, use your head. What? Oh, that's fucking sick. Um, she definitely rocks on glasses. Oh, wait, I didn't choose her. Oh yeah, this chaser is a no-nonsense chaser. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, there's more options. Okay, cool. Yeah, do not mess with this chaser. Or are you ready to learn more about Quidditch? All I'm ready right, to learn the more. lesson continues. Yeah, the Hermione did nothing. Depth to the game. So let's add one now. Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Okay, Ronald. Harry's definitely going to be teaching us. Okay, who looks most like a goalkeeper? They do. 
and then we can change it a little bit from there okay cool um i want i want them to have that car that car always works actually You know, they, they actually have the, the perfect vibe of the goalkeeper I'm looking for. They've kind of nailed it. Welcome to the team. Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Yes, sir. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. Okay. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Just not Rupert Grint, is it? Range goals, blast out kicks, and boost your teammate's speed. Chasers can play a decent defense, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keeper to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. Okay. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. Yeah. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team Ugh. depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Oi! Don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Okay. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Press R2 to drop play quarter rings. These give you Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Now let's take a look at your play calling from the chaser's point of view. Flying through auras will give you a speed and energy boost. The Keeper's Kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. Oh, what? What do you mean? Okay. Give it here. That felt right. Yeah, That's about all you need to know as a keeper. Are you ready to play a match with proper brilliant? With the keepers added to the game, it downfield i can hear the snitch but where is it he shoots he scores doesn't matter three now hoorah hoorah nah that was that was cooking that's the end of the match perfect timing too i think the gnomes are back again the gnomes until next time then i cooked beat is up next let's go oh my beat is that Career fame level two, love to see it. Cool. Nice. Yeah, now we could. Yeah. That was a great match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Mm hmm. Now, shall we move to Brilliant? Nice Let's move on to the roles that make Quidditch truly unique. Starting with the B. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. This canonically means it's set before Fred and George like have their issues. This is a mean looking dude. 
Yeah, let's just do the beta. He is definitely a he him beta. Good dark eyes. Yeah, no, there's there's something missing. I'm not sure what it is. It's not the glasses. The glasses are making him look less intimidating. The hair is exactly what I'm looking for. Is it an eye colour thing? Oh yeah, it's the purple. That's what we need. Yeah. Now nah, this guy looks angry. Yeah, the that is my beta. Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? I love how they showed the ball rotting Draco in the face. The chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. Bludgers are nasty little buggers and can cause a lot of trouble if you're not careful. A lot of new beaters start off their career with an injury. So let's take it easy to start with. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters, beaters can, can do, do the same, same. often the devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits and you'll be tumbling off your broom. Okay. Makes sense. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the player and tackle your opponent. That usually does the trick. Alright, yeah, let's I've put all this things. practice into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this, but I'm sure they'll be fine. I feel like playing a blood uh, beat is going to be the most okay. fun you can possibly let's have. Let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still balanced. Maybe we should worry they about that. They get right. That was Harry. <laughs> Just a little bit at least. Spectacular! Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. This is fun. Let me be in a four so I mean mean machine guard. Now, could be crazy. That seems like that now might be a problem. Understand what a beast, then let's play a match with bludgers and you can just go beat the, the shit out of the goalkeeper Welcome and then no one can defend. Thing like dodging bludgers to get your adrenaline going. Should we play another match before we bring the snips? And that means right. we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch. I'm not a bad seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest seeker. In Harry! Okay, I need someone who's fast looking. This little toe rag. That is a seeker. Fairer skin. Lighter eyes. Lighter hair. That hair might be perfect. Oh, well, but this one. Yeah, no, that's more Seeker. No, no losses. And he's going to be the only full get one crew turns up. He needs to be a Slytherin. <laughs> that is my Seeker. Everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive golden snitch to score big for their team. Yeah. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing seeker does. If you can stay close to the snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hands. Let's go.
Seekers are entirely focused on the Golden Snitch, an elusive okay. golden ball. It's tricky to find and even harder to catch, but gives your team a load of points. When the Snitch has been detected, it's time for the Seeker to step... Usually, you'd need to find the Snitch first, but for now, we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with it later. The Snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the Snitch can be difficult, but using those gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. Seekers need to be quick and agile, making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting is an excellent way. This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself, and quickly too. You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold, and listen out for the flitter of its wings. This little boss is gonna drive me crazy, isn't he? Okay, so drifting actually feels necessary for this. Which isn't a bad thing inherently. You know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. Are you ready for your first real match? One moment, please, Harry. I feel like I need a monster for this situation. But here's one I forgot to put in the fridge earlier. Cheers. Right. I'm okay. ready. That's when that This one is for all the gobstones. We'll be playing with full team. This is the Weasley Twins. Beat. Excited to show off our moves. Back for another exhilarating game. I love how we get Ginny all this time. When she's the best Quidditch player in the Harry Potter world of like established characters. Here comes the bludger. Um, I'm going to be a beater, thanks. The only thing I want to do in this entire game is beat the shit out of people. The quaffle is loose. Go on. There goes the shot. Scoring goals look easy. Intercept. Stole the quaffle. I'm far, far, far away from the right place to be. The chaser passes. The visitors steal possession. Oh. It's all right, worth it. Keep moving it. 
downfield. There goes the shot. The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. What a great pass. There goes the snitch. She lines up the shot. The keeper stops. There's the snitch. But who will be the first to catch it? Great pass. Yes. Keep moving it downfield. This game is so chaotic, it doesn't ever, like, stop, if that makes sense. There's the shot. What a set of feet to knock the player down. Almost there, Seeker. Keep it up. Oh my goodness. And the quaffle is in. It's all right. Teammates still bagging. That snitches on its last legs. Uh, wings. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. The quaffle is passed. The lines up the shot and the away team saves Boom. it. That's the snitch. The seeker's done it. Well, so that doesn't end the game anymore. She shoots. The match has reached the halfway mark. Sixty He passes the quaffle. She speeds towards the goalposts and nothing's getting past these goalposts. Within reach. The quaffle is knocked loose. You know it. There goes the shot. The visitors save it. He passes to his teammate. Well, we got a chaser. There's. He passes the quaffle. the first to find the snitch. No. Sika. The beater made short work of that player. He found, found the snitch. snitch. Talk about a crash course in Quidditch. The quaffle was stolen. That chase is not playing around. What a great, but the away team intercepts it. Hang in there, Seeker. Not that you have much choice. Great teamwork, great keeper, great save. The seek that's a pass to a teammate. Holy shit, this is intense. Always good to see a team passing the quaffle around. Partial quaffle around. There goes the shot. And it soars through the goal. Oh, defense is crumbling. The beater's target is down for the count. This chase that's a fumble. No. Nothing's getting past that keeper. 
The Seekers captured the Snitch and our attention. There's the shot, and that's no. a goal! I'm doing everything I can here, folks. Boom. Like mom's dream of us working in the ministry is over. This is Jenny Weasley. Same voice line again already is a bit rough, but. Boom! Tutorial complete! Let's go. Moonstones, gold, new customization on my dreams. Fun. It's all very yeah, horrible. That.